Hi guys, welcome back. And today I'm showing you um, a video on how to make a recipe request that's come through from one of our lovely viewers. It's uh, the recipe for Dud Dulari and I'm going to show you exactly how it's made. I've tried to do a very quick and instant recipe which has a reduced sugar amount in there which means that you can enjoy the recipe without the sugar overload. So quick run through of the ingredients and I'm going to show you how this is made. So the ingredients that you'll need to make the dudulari are just over a litre of milk, half a cup of these coloured vermicelli which you can find at all the Asian superstores, you'll need half a cup of sugar, one full can of fruit cocktail which I've drained, you need one banana, then I've got some rasgullas here which are in pastel colours, Just they came like that but I've just sliced them in half. And I've got jelly, which is the green coloured one and a red one to contrast, which again, I've cubed. If you can't, you can't see that, but I've cubed it. But I'll show you once we assemble the dish, you need a can of evaporated milk. Again, we're reducing the sugar. So I've gone for evaporated milk uh, and not condensed milk. And I've got some toasted flaked almonds there, which we'll add as a garnish on top. So let me show you how we make this. So firstly, you want to go straight in with your milk. Turn the gas on and then straight in with the evaporated milk. And then we're going to throw the sugar in as well. And the coloured vermicelli goes in as well. Now you're going to cook this by constantly stirring it because we don't want it to stick at the bottom. And we want to bring this to the boil. So we'll show you how that looks once it's done. Okay guys, you can see the milk's come to the boil and I've been stirring it throughout um, until it came to the boil. And now what you want to do is you want to reduce the gas to a medium to low flame and let that cook until the vermicelli cooks through. The milk thickens up and it's reduced by half. So we're coming back to this now and you can see how the consistency has changed. It's becoming thicker and the vermicelli is cooked as well now. Just give it a couple of more minutes and we're going to turn the gas off and then we're going to let this cool completely. Um, it's very important that you allow this to cool fully. Otherwise, if you add your fruit cocktail into this, it's going to turn to mush. So. We're going to just give it a couple of more minutes, just keep stirring it as well, but that's the consistency you're looking for. Like a thick runny custard. And once you take it off the heat and once it's cooled, it will thicken more. So that's about ready now. I'm going to turn the gas off and just allow that to cool. So once it's cool, we'll show you how to assemble the dudulari. Now the mixture is completely cooled and I've just transferred it to a glass bowl. And now I'm going to add the fruit cocktail into this. And also the banana. And then just slice that. I like to have chunky pieces. You can slice them in fours if you want. That's entirely up to you. And just cut that straight into the bowl. And then take a few toasted almonds mix that in as well and leave some for the garnish later on and just gently stir that in mix that really well and then we're going to transfer it to this dish because 
we want to present it at the tables. So just pour that in like that. Make sure you get everything off the sides. And the more this dish will cool, the more thicker and creamier it will become. Flatten it out. And now we need to decorate this gorgeous dish. I'm going to take some of my jelly, which I've pre-cut, and just have some beautiful shards just here. And how lovely does that look? Isn't it? It's such a colourful dish. Got a few more pieces there. Got another one. And same with the red jelly. The red and green just look so beautiful together. It's a lovely contrast. more little pieces around and we need to leave some room for these just put these on top like that just randomly space them out wherever there's room god that looks so cute doesn't it such a beautiful dish and you can get the kids to make this as well and they'll enjoy putting all these little colourful bits in. Let me just use a pink one there just to finish this off and there we are. Last thing, just sprinkle some toasted almonds right on top of there. Look at that. Beautiful. There we are. So there you have it, guys. My version of Dud Dilari as requested by my lovely viewer. Um, I hope you've liked watching this video. The colours are intense and amazing. And they just look so beautiful together along with the white creamy um, mixture. But yes, please do try this recipe out and uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget, most importantly, please do leave me some feedback. I'd love to hear back from you guys. Uh, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Till next time, take care. Happy eating.